Hey, Michael, sorry about the delay here. Um, I know that I said I would send an email to review with you how to configure your incoming and outgoing mail servers in Odoo. To do that, you'll want to go to the settings module. You want to make sure you activate the developer mode. Once you do that, it will refresh. You can confirm that the developer mode has been activated by the bug in the top right hand screen here. Once you have that, go back to settings, go to technical, incoming, outgoing mail servers. You'll select your incoming mail server. You will, of course, you can import it if you'd like, or you would create, you'd give it a name, you'd give it a you know, server name here, the port, SSL, username and password. You can create um, incoming, yeah, you can create actions in Odoo based on an incoming new record, but this is not a mandatory field. You'll see the all mandatory fields are all underlined in bold. Once you set that up, you can obviously prioritize the server if you want to keep attachments, all that. Um, server type. Once you set it up, you'll click save, test and confirm, and that will allow you to confirm that the connection has been made. And the concept for the outgoing mail server is very similar. Description, server, port, connection security, username, password, test the connection, and it'll go through and validate that. So if you have any additional questions here, uh, please do let me know. But you can, as I've mentioned, you can go into any of these, look at the underlying fields. That will be the information that you need in order to make this connection. Plug it in, test it, and you should be good. Okay, let me know if you have any additional uh, questions that I can help out with. Thanks so much, and have a good day.